Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another RMA Fire tutorial. The material for this is quite simple. It's just it's just basically it's just a gold material. So I froze the geometry because when you have heavy simulations like this, it's gonna take you a very long time to animate your cameras. And as you can see, I did do very very subtle animation on my cameras. So this is camera one, camera three. And those are the cameras that you're seeing on on the original video on the tutorial video so let me show you let's just create one camera together so i'm gonna duplicate camera one and put it down here and i gave it a resolution of 1500 by 1500 and i went on to the redshift tab and enable depth of field and on the transform i'm just gonna delete this too I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna select camera six and I'm gonna lock it. So in order to find like a, a good place where we wanna, here's how I go about it. I'm like, okay, let's find a nice, let me just turn this off. Find a nice place where I feel like I could do a good shot. So I'm gonna come in here, find a sweet spot. And sorry that my computer is a little laggy. It's both two things one the same is pretty heavy and two um, I work remotely onto a remote server so I connect to the server and sometimes the, there is a little bit of lag so I'm hitting alt and selecting this too and then I go down and then let's uh, let's just pan the camera a little bit boom 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 something like that alt and select the two and that's gonna give us a that nice a nice camera move and this nice camera move, I am going to select another keyframe down the middle and drop it here. Then I'm going to select this, uh, this little thingy right here and come out so that I can see what the camera is looking at from up the top. And if I hit Z on the viewport, this is my focal length. So I'm going to have to move the focal length come here into the sampling and mm, possibly animate it or maybe not maybe find a good sample uh, good depth of field like that make sure that whatever is on the center is going to be in focus and everything beyond be like out of this area becomes out of focus so that's the first thing putting together your camera we've got the depth of field turned on and we've done a simple animation that is what I did. I just chose like these different angles that I thought they were looking cool. Um, but you guys can choose whichever angles that you want. I'm going to delete the camera. And then I do usually go and do two more things. Let's pull out of here. I create, um, I usually like to create a three point light setup. So that means that I do an RS light make this one's invisible and I put it on say for example on this side and I'll do another one and I put it on like this other side and we want to make sure that this little line here is pointing at our geometry you will notice that the only things that I would change is in the light the intensity and here the light the intensity is high so you want to have one that is high and then one that is low and just play with the values to get like a good balance between both of them then that's it that's all I, that's really all that i did for my cat for my lights so let's turn this off and let's add an rs dome dome is really what the texture here on your dome is really going to like give this a lot of love so i selected a texture here on my lights hdri packs parking lots volume one so this is the hdri from rma fire um, volume one from hdri 14 and what you want to do is turn off enabling viewport so that we're not seeing it on the viewport you'll see in a second that if i don't turn it off we will see it on the viewport and i just find this very distracting so let's turn it off and then on the environment we want to turn off background so you don't see it So if we 
click here on object and left leave it clicked and we go to on material context you will see that this is our statue material which is a gold material so i'm gonna do i'm gonna recreate it with you guys and we're gonna create it from scratch um we're gonna type rs material and then type red oops sorry red shift material so this one's rs and this one's red shift we connect this to the surface and then we do i want this to be gold that easy so this is gonna be our tutorial we're gonna come back onto our object select it and on inside here we're gonna select the material and we're gonna say i want this material matte context to be the tutorial material and outside we are not really gonna change anything for now then let's go into our out context and you will find that i've got this merge with three different nodes let's start with one at a time so let's type here redshift redshift render and here's how i usually start i will name this like shot one or whatever camera then we want to select the camera render camera one so we're going to use camera one and we want to select the output so this is where you want to save this to to your viewport out to your computer so we're gonna say frame range however frames we want to render and then in here we want to select where we want it to render but i'm not gonna go down this rabbit hole because this is not really a rendering tutorial but i will show you that if we click render view and if we hit render we are already going to have a really cool result so we want to go Houdini and select shot one, which is this node right here. And we want to select camera number one and hit render. And let's see what we get. Alrighty, look at that. How cool is that? So you can see that off the bat, we get some really cool results. This has already got some depth of field. This has all the materials in there. And this has all the fancy stuff. Just double check. I, if you hit this thing here, I added a little bit of bokeh. So if you turn this off and you, um, oh yeah, this is bokeh from camera. So this is what's affecting the depth of field. So. You can play with lots and color corrects here. I'm not gonna go down that path. Those, that's interesting to look at. If you guys want a tutorial on that, I can make it. But you can see that this is the gist of it. This is how I created this effect. And the reason why I have this like that is because we can batch render this. So if you go to main and you turn off the non-blocking current frame rendering, you can do, this is shot one, this is shot two, camera number whatever, uh, camera number whatever and then you you, you put different uh redshift nodes with different cameras and different areas where you want to render and then you do merge and then if you connect them to the merge and on the merge you say um control um node by node it's gonna render this one then render this one and then render this one so that's a really good good tip to know um, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. Um, I hope that you liked it. I hope that this is useful. And uh, please share the work that you guys do. All right. I'll be back with more.